What's going on, guys? We're back at it with Palmetto State Armory. You know that I'm a big fan of PSA. I've uh, been working their stuff for quite some time and just have always really enjoyed their perspective on the 2A, 2A community. Basically, the idea that they want a rifle in every American's hands, and I think that is pretty, pretty awesome. I've got Cameron here. We're going to be talking about a couple of different things that they've got going. One thing that is really, really cool, I'll let him talk about it, but uh, the first thing that we want to talk about is the... Uh, 102s yep. that uh, I got to shoot one yesterday. Had a lot of fun with that. It's a smooth shooting gun. It is. So talk about the 5.56 five, AKs that yep. we're looking at. Obviously, we got the 102 here, and yep. we have another one we're going to talk about here. But uh, just give us a rundown on your 5.56 five, AKs right now. Yeah. So we, you know, obviously we were planning on coming out with the 101 and 102 that was already in the works a year ago. But obviously, with the ammo situation. It's more focused now so than ever, right? Exactly. So 7.62 by 39, obviously we know what's going on with that situation, but now our focus is gonna be shifting over to Americanized ammo, right? right. Yeah. So this 102, it's been out for a few months now. It's a 5.56 AK, um, takes rock and lock style mags. We will have our own version of a 5.56 mag here shortly. Um, but yeah, so we have multiple different versions of these on our website from your classic to your, your, your no brace versions. You got different pin and weld versions, different options for your 102. Um, but again, we also have different versions of a 5.56 AK coming. So we have rifle length with adjustable gas blocks. We got different half by 28 threads. So for people that want to do suppressor stuff, you don't have to worry about trying to step down from M24. Yep. Yep. You can do half by 28 directly ready to go. Good. Good. So, um, Talked about uh, 300 blackout yes. being offered in it yes. as so well. Yes, we so we will have a 300 blackout AK in a pistol version uh, as well as a rifle version with an adjustable gas bomb. Okay, awesome. So we have all that coming as well. Yep. Um, furniture options, you've got a whole bunch of different yeah, we combinations. Pro we probably have about 19 different SKUs just based off of the barrel assembly of a 102. Yep. So, you know, you have different furniture options, different muzzle brakes, different different braces, different stocks, different dust yep. covers. You know, awesome. this one obviously is kind of tricked out, ready to go out of the box. Um, so ready to shoot, but we do have just your basic, if you want the classic look, some people want the classic AK-102 yep. style, we have that on there as well. Absolutely, which is pretty much what we have sitting right over there, yep. just off camera. So this right here is an AK-101. Um, it is a 16-inch rifle, uh, 5.56 rock and lock. Uh, it is a M24 thread pitch on it as well. Um, but again, this is kind of just touching base on that. Our focus this year, 2023, is going to be Americanized kind of ammo. Thread yep. pitches, calibers, all kinds of stuff. But again, this is your classic AK-101 fixed stock. Um, we do offer it in a side folding option. Um, we do offer it with tricked out rails, dust covers, all kinds of fun stuff as well. So Absolutely. There, you have all different kinds of options on this Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. So that has kind of been my focus here recently, especially with last year. You know, I went out and did the tactical games and I ran an AK that was in 5.56 because yep. that was one of the yep. requirements they had for the tactical game. So to see PSA have something that I could uh, run as well yep. would be something extremely positive in my, in my opinion, Absolutely. especially for American And, and that's why we're trying to go to the next level and we're yep. putting the adjustable gas lock on there, right? So people, you know, again, like I'm a little bougie. I like to shoot suppressed. Like that's all exactly. I like to shoot, yep. you know? So adjustable gas block, right? That's like in my head, half by 28 threads. So we'll have that version here in the next couple of weeks and adjustable gas block, AKM, 5.56 five, with half by 28 threads. So, I mean, it's ready to go. All right. Ready to go. Now we've got something really special here. You guys are developing a STG 44, which is just blowing my mind right yes. now. Uh, talk, talk about that. What, yeah, what's so, going on here? So, so, so this is starting out. So we're starting a historic battlefield edition on it. Okay. Um, this is going to be the first offering of that historic battlefield edition. Um, it is an STG 44. Uh, it is a 5.56. Okay. Um, we will have it in 300 blackout, 5.56, and 7.62 by 39. Interesting. So you'll have multiple different caliber options. Um, the barrel is very similar to an AR-15. So okay. So you can buy the gun and swap out the barrel and shoot Interesting. 300 blackout. Okay. All right. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be our first offering of our historic battlefield edition we're doing. That is super cool. And uh, I don't, I don't know if you have any, yeah. uh, anything that you want to say about other offerings that you're going to do for your battlefield, or is this your 
focus right now? Before so this is our focus. focus. Obviously, we have like a wish list of what we want to do. So okay. we'll, you know, we want to do grease guns, MP40s, oh, wow. Stens, yeah, Lugers, yeah, yeah, like yeah. all kinds of stuff from that era. Oh, wow. And, you know, yeah. we, we want to honor the veterans and what they did over there and what they brought back to the country with them yeah. and after coming back home and stuff. So this is a you know pretty big deal for us. Outstanding. That's super, super cool. So there you guys have it. That's the couple different things that I want to touch on with uh, PSA. So if you guys are interested in some of the other things that you may need to coverage on, just let me know down in the comment section and I can always come back and look at some other things as well. So, uh, Karen, I really do appreciate it. And this is some super cool stuff. I really do like it. Uh, okay, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. More SHOT Show coverage coming up. Appreciate you guys. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.